close your eyes and remember to say it with a breath. You make up your mind that this is where you're going to stay. And then you have to keep remembering that intention. That's what mindfulness is all about. Did you have lessons that you've learned from the past? Even if the past is just a few minutes ago. But one of the lessons you'll learn from a long time now is that it's good to stay with the breath. You know, why is it the mind wanders off other places? Why does it forget? This is where you have to bring alertness in to keep watch over what you're doing. Watch over the breath, watch over the mind. Learn how to observe both of those, because that point of view is going to be very important. You have to keep track on what the mind is doing as an important part of the meditation. And learn how to recognize the signs when it's beginning to get a little loose. How can you firm up your intention to stay with the next breath, and then the next, and then the next? This requires ardency, so you want to do this well. And then you start thinking of various ways that can make it easier to stay here. If you take an interest in the breath, that's very helpful. You have a recurrent pain or part of the body that's been wounded or injured. Think of the breath energy flowing through there. When the tension around that begins to relax, you begin to notice that there are other patterns of tension that you may have not noticed before because the big ones were drawing all your attention. And so you can go through the body, releasing, releasing, releasing the tension. That gives you something to do without even having to think about wanting to stay here. You just get interested in being here. As the Buddha said, interest or jitta is one of the foundations for concentration. It goes together with desire, wanting to do this, and persistence, putting the effort in. But if you're really intent on what you're doing, paying careful attention to what you're doing, interested in what you're doing, then the desire and the persistence come on their own. Then it's just a matter of adding the fourth basis for success, which is using your powers of analysis. What's working? What's not working? What can you improve? Remember, the Buddha's secret to his awakening was not resting content with skillful qualities. He was always trying to find, is there some better way of doing this? It's like a craftsman who's learned a craft from a teacher and then wants to improve on it. First you have to do what the teacher says, make sure you've got that down. And then from there you can begin to explore. You start exploring on your own in the body and you discover there are lots of things about the breath that you didn't notice before. This gets you even more interested to see what else is there. So as long as you can stay interested in the breath, it's easy to stay. It's when the breath gets boring. That's when you begin to wander off. But you have to ask, why is it boring? After all, it does have a huge impact on the health of your body. And it's a good mirror for the mind. Because that's what you're really after here, is what the mind is doing right now. And you see it clearly in the breath. And if you're not interested in your own mind, what are you going to be interested in? So take an interest in what you're doing here, and all the other good qualities of concentration and discernment will begin to come.